river, but way further. I just saw something very, very, very interesting. I don't know where this video will go, but I will tell you, stick around for the end because I'm on this Achilles eight foot soft inflatable bottom dinghy. Time to skip dive, my friends! Wait for it! Shit's getting real on the river! Hey, stay tuned if you guys want to see the entire Miami River with Alfred Montaner on this inflatable dinghy. Hey, you know how I tell you, uh, stay out of alleys? Well, stay out of holes, alright? Wow, this is, this is a whole different side of uh, the river that I don't even know. I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. Welcome, my name is Alfred Monte and you are watching the Dinghy Series. I'm here on the Miami River, but you're not gonna believe this. Wait for it. All right, so here's what's gonna happen, guys. We're gonna start at the very beginning of, the very, very beginning of the Miami River. Right now, I just finished shooting the video, and I'm on the way back, but I wanted to show you guys something. Um, I'm on the Achilles Hypoline, but hold on. I got a little surprise for you guys. Wait for it. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. Wow! The most famous towboat captain in the world. Dude. Hold on. What, what are the odds that I catch the most famous towboat captain on the Miami River? What do you... What are you doing here, dude? Every once in a while, we'll get a tow like that to come up here. So I just put him right over there by where that red tea top is. Bro, I would have if I would have never thought I would have seen you in the Miami River, guys. The thingy video starts now. Let's go, <laughs> Captain. I'll see. I'll see you over at Back Point. Hey, I might need. I might need a tow later. <laughs> <laughs> that is so wild. Hey. You want to go ahead and see uh, craziness? Go check out Boat Zone. The, uh, I don't know, this video starts right now. Are you, are you guys, you guys ain't ready for the Miami River, guys. <laughs> hey, let's go. Me, you, to the beginning of the Miami River. Let's go from there all the way to the end. It's going to be badass. Wait for it. Boop. We, we, we are going to do something really wild, guys. Alfred Montana here, guys, and uh, we, guys, it doesn't get any further than this. Um, I don't know. It, it's going to be an interesting video. I am, look where I'm at, guys. This is the furthest point on the Miami River. Right there, for those, oh, oh my goodness, look what is this. Oh, wow, you guys are getting a treat. Look at this. Look at this. All right, so we got we got a lot going on here, guys. So this is the beginning of the river, but hold on, hold on. I want you guys to see this. This might be, get cool. All right, that is our tri rail system and that would go from Miami all the way to Palm Beach how oh, wild huh so it crosses over here through the Miami River and so so will other big uh, trains as well but it is <laughs> this is so wild well that's why we do what we do guys uh, we like to do amazing things on this channel stay tuned we um, it's gonna be a long ride, guys. It's gonna be a dirty ride. Um, I'm just getting here to the beginning. I was, I was, wow. I was wild, basically, with everything that I saw as far as debris on here. So I gotta kind of make sure that I avoid a lot of that stuff.
and yeah, welcome to the Miami River, right? So we've done some cool videos on the river with the tugboats. And uh, if you guys have missed those videos, I definitely would encourage you to take a look at my tugboat series. So. Now, we are on a, on a, an Achilles inflatable. It's an eight foot uh, soft bottom boat that you can basically roll up and put it in, in a car or an RV or a trunk of a car. And um, wow, look at this. This is, this is where they do the scrap, that big scrap yard. And uh, we not too long ago did a video here as well. I know it's kind of windy guys. Um, so you might hear a little bit of wind on my mic but uh, that's what uh, comes with amazingness sometimes right so um, I'm using a 2.5 mercury 15 inch shaft uh, short shaft outboard engine and I don't have any other tanks other than this one that I brought as an emergency which is a small one gallon. I think I'll be fine for the river. Here's that scrapyard that I was telling you. Look, there's a there's a, a boat right there. So right here, uh, right after this recycling center here, that's where I normally see the majority of the boats begin, right? This used to be one of the old um, ferry boats they used to take to Fisher Island. And Fisher Island is basically a very wealthy island right off of Miami Beach that uh, you need to ferry in on one of these. The guy says Fisher Island on the door. Now I recently had been there. Um, I did a video with the burger people from Motion Reef to Fisher Island and I was on the new ones and they're very nice. Obviously this is one of the old school ones. But yeah, I'm gonna show you all these cool things along the way, right? Wow, this video is gonna be so wild, dude. Now some of you guys that have been watching the channel for a while know the Hempstead Marine um, pulls and normally takes out the Betty K and the Betty K right now is getting loaded up and uh, it's primarily a cargo boat that takes a lot of stuff to uh, the Bahamas. I would love to do a video on the actual Betty K. That'll, that'll be a cool video for you guys to see. Oh, look, there's some bait over there getting smashed. Oh, wow. Damn, and the hawk just got it. Was it a hawk that hit up the bait? Look, 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 the hawk is coming back down. Boom, you guys see that? Oh, that's gonna be cool, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh man, this is gonna be cool. Watch, oh, it got it already. It's, oh, look, look, look. And there's a little small one, watch this, watch this, guys. Look at the hawk up there. What's that small bird? Okay, he's coming back down. He's coming back down. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. Let me take it slow. Maybe he comes and does it. Where'd he go? Um, I know the bait was up here. Oh, okay. There, there it is. 
I wonder if it's mullet or what, what it is. Wow, we got we got the Miami River and Discovery Channel all happening at the same time. I see a bunch of ripples here in the water, so I think it's probably up here. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Alright, well. So look uh 3600 shipping terminal mtb here now this right here is booby trap which is an adult i would say gentleman's club but i don't know it doesn't fit the, the term but yeah so so it's an adult male uh, club where you know you know uh, one of the things I noticed on the way over here is uh, it's probably not the best best place to dock your boat, right? And it's on the river, right? Not too far from the Miami International Airport, guys. So, yeah, I mean, I, I can. What do you guys think, huh? Wow. Wild, 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 wild. And there are TVs on in there, so it looks like it's open. Oh, we got a rib boat. We got competition over here with a eight foot uh, Achilles. Now, if you guys don't know, I did a video of this particular boat, showed you guys how to set it up, and also showed you uh, Zodiac. This is a Hyperlon boat, but the other one is, uh, the Zodiac is a PVC boat. And I kind of explained the differences. And um, I want to thank Lauderdale Inflatables for supplying the other boat. I purchased this one for myself, but I definitely wanted to show you guys the differences because maybe some of you guys get inspired to see what you can do with one of these small inflatables, right? The Betty K is in the house. So cool. Now, if you guys, oh, oh, oh look who's they're bringing one in. Oh man, they're bringing them in. Oh my goodness. Oh guys, we got to get out of the way. It's Hempstead Marine bringing in a cargo ship. Now, this video I have done with Greg and Norman. So, wow, this is an extra, extra, extra awesome moment for you guys because. The timing couldn't have been even better. Um, it's a little scary for me, I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, we did a video with Greg and Norman and if you guys missed out on that, it's on my channel. Look up the tugboat series and uh, they actually were pulling this boat right here. The Betty Kate. Wow. This is gonna be cool. Now I definitely don't wanna be in the way while they're working. Um, I wonder where they're gonna put it. They, they might be. Well here, if you guys remember the video that I did with Morgan, Captain Morgan on Miami River towing, this is exactly where those um, were that's where we came out of right here um, and that's another cool video so it's actually a tugboat the video uh, at night wow this is this is kind of cool dude <laughs> this is kind of cool now I want to definitely be out of the way <laughs> oh my goodness it might, it might not be Captain Nor uh, Norman um, uh, on the pull tug. It might be Alex. Normally, Greg is on the tail tug, and we did the video with him. Oh, boy. I am trying to take it slow, my friends. Uh, trust me, I, I understand what it takes to do what they do because I've been working with them. 
Okay, they're just dropping the monkey ball right now. Look how fast they're moving, guys. Look, that is so cool, dude. And it's the Gene Ruth on the pull tug, and uh, which one is the one that's in the, it's probably the Atlas. Wow. That is so cool, dude. How wild is that? You know, I've been wanting to talk to Norman um, and talk to a bunch of people here on the Miami River and talk about kind of like the history of the river. I mean, look at this particular, look at this ship right here. I mean, at what point is it time to scrap this guy, you know? Okay, now look what look look what Norman's gonna do. He, he he's unhooked, and he's gonna push. He's gonna push it towards the dock now. Wow, this is so wild. Hey, smash a like for those guys at Hempstead Marine, man. Greg Norman, all those guys. going at idle speed right now making sure that we're not in the way at all there he is you see how he's pushing it such a cool series guys I would definitely tell you to go watch that video it's incredible to say the least This is what makes the Miami River so amazing, man. It really is an amazing uh, place. And the history of the river is incredible. Here, here's, you got a little marina here. Alright guys, it looks like they got that Centauri transport in and uh, the Atlas and the Gene Ruth are probably going to go pick someone else up. Maybe they might call it a day, I don't know. They're not too far from here. That's They're not uh, station far from here. So, How cool is that, dude? Oh, look, look. Somebody's going to jump aboard uh, the... Uh, the Atlas and this is the uh, Centauri they just brought in transport let's go see who uh, hold on a second oh look I want you guys to see something here wait a second hold on hold on let me go and circle I wanted to show you guys those guys but we're right now at Jones this is uh, Jones boatyard and uh, look at this house. It's uh, basically a house on the water. And this guy just got towed in right now by the Atlas and Gene Ruth. We might see them uh, pulling up right here to the right. Continue back over here. This is still... Uh, Yeah, they're going in, guys. They're going in. I'm going to take it slow. Maybe I can uh, say hello and see who, who's there.
Here's the same uh, boat that cleans up the Miami River, passing through as well. I'm gonna have to tell uh, uh, Norman and and Greg to see if we uh, go make a scene again on uh, on one of their tugboats and do another video. It's, it's such a cool experience to show you guys. Here's another little small tug. Looks like they're they're pulling a. Uh... Okay, so so look at this. This is interesting. So these are kind of like uh, barges that that'll, I guess, bring the boats out of the water. Would be interesting to see how that process works. kind of cool see how it is right here let's go see if we say what's up to the Gene Ruth and the Atlas, Captain Norman and Captain Greg. And here's where they dock their beautiful tugs, guys. The Elizabeth, the Jean Ruth, and the Atlas. Uh, did I miss them? Yeah, I think I did. And uh, it was such a cool feeling coming over here and, and experiencing uh, here. I did that video with my boy Aiden during uh, almost the height of the pandemic, right? current here. Last thing I want is to have a shit show. A shit show! With uh, the tugboat guys, right? Uh, looks like they skipped town already. In and out. Like the trash on a Monday, right? That was quick. They got the Pablo as well. There's Captain Norman there on the Jean Ruth. I'll give him a call. I'll give him a heads, a heads up. All right, let's get this video moving down the river so we can continue. So you guys can see the entire river now. Sometimes when they have to take those big ships past these trees, it I mean the, the sight from a from a distance is pretty crazy, man. You see them having to maneuver here and this to 
charge a little bit because I want to see if we can make it all the way to the mouth of the river if possible we might see boat zone filming at the uh, at the end of the river too All right, so imagine imagine you having to be the captain right now of those tugboats. You got that ship that you have to squeeze through this tight area right here, and there's no room for error. Um, I don't know what's going on with the island breeze here, but this guy has been here for a minute. And I'm sure, I, if I had to guess, I'm sure those tugboat guys would prefer not seeing it uh, in the way while they're doing these. So here, here's where it gets kind of tight, right? Like this whole area right here. See how you have the Pepin Express? The Pepin um, is the, the tugs from the Pepin are from the Sarah from Miami River Towing which we did that video at night with Captain Morgan. Look, this is, this is the stuff that you see a lot of. You see bags, debris. I saw like a piece of wood with a nail. Those are things being on a soft inflatable bottom, what I kind of worry about. I hope the audio is not completely shot, guys. I really do. It's kind of windy, so. These look like they're boats to be transported. Oh no, it's a marina boatyard. Thirty-two zero one Northwest South River Drive is the address, guys. I did put this little temporary floor, it's just kind of like a rough foam rubber mat that I got at, um, at Northern Tool, which is kind of like a tool place over here in America. And uh, it was 28 bucks. It, it just gives me the assurances that I'm not going to have anything on my shoes and prick the soft bottom of this particular inflatable. Here's the Sarah. This is the tugboat that we did the video at night. And uh, that for me was, that was my favorite video of 2021, guys. Um, because it was so cool, it was raining, there was thunder, the skyline of Miami looked amazing. It was, it was just such a cool experience. And uh, the team over there at the Sarah are awesome. The Sarah, the, I forgot what the other one's name was, but I was on the Sarah. Cool, cool video to watch. I wonder if they're gonna be going out anytime soon. Wow. says Patty Crosby. I don't know what that's about. Viking Starliner. Hey, if you you know what the history of this boat is, comment now in the comment section. I'm curious to see this. The Viking Starliner. Can you imagine the memories that this thing has, guys? You know what fascinates me is when you guys tell me your stories about the things that I'm exploring and doing now, right? So, um, definitely um, I love to hear your comments look at this here this looks like it's being worked on and built here too aluminum fabrication all 
right, so here's, they were also loading up a lot of these uh, boat uh, cars for export a little earlier. And you see here. So we're going in the direction now, guys, that we, we just left where we started this video. It was closest to the Miami International Airport on the Miami River. And then what we're doing is we're going towards the, basically, the beach. Look at all the mattresses and some cars here, some box trucks that are filled with mattresses. Okay, so here's another thing I wanna show you. We're not gonna do it in this video, but there is a vein here, right? And typically in this area here, there's a lot of, oh, you know what, we'll take a, we'll take a little detour, right? We, why not, right? So here, you have also some boat yards that um, do some really high-end, high-end work. They do a, a lot of high-end work on the river, per se. But there's, there's different places that are known for many, many years that um and this is one of them right so this is one of the veins right off of the miami river and there is one um drawbridge here i think there's only this is the only one and this is called the tamiami bridge I think we got to call in and ask the uh, drawbridge guy if we, we're going to make it. So in a, in a lot of circumstances, you might see some boats that go down uh, the Miami River uh, for charter that come out of this area as well. keep it uh interesting for you guys so you guys can see oh look look you got some you got some boats coming out now all right well we'll catch this vein on another day i definitely want to continue down the miami river Now, there's a couple of food spots that we can stop and maybe have a meal if we wanted. We can go to a um, couple of places. Once we pass them, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, like Casablanca, a little further ahead, and Garcia's, which are very known in the Miami River for seafood. Gotta make sure nobody's coming. That wasn't for me, I promise you that. The bridge to open. Um, all right, so the first bridge that we're gonna come across, guys, is the 27th Avenue Bridge. Um, so from 27th Avenue, we're gonna go down avenues to 17th, we'll, we'll go under the overpass. There's a park called um, Jose Marti Park. There's the wharf. So typically right here, anything on this side of this bridge here is what you would consider more on the industrial side. 
we, we do have some some big boats but not cargo stuff typically parked further up ahead you might find one or two here's that debris that i was telling you stuff like stuff like this guys you see that how it has a piece of wood and uh, but that's why that boat earlier was doing everything possible to clean up the debris on the river because they knew that i was going to be doing this video so they're like hey bottom making a scene nah, not really but it would have been cool if they would have just you know recognized right here is the uh, Miami Firemen's Clubhouse uh, big shout out to those guys uh, in the fire department over here in the city of Miami and now recently we had done a video of this side on my scooter right I did a video on my scooter um, and we did like a riding tour I'll try to see if I can link it to this video it's a good video to watch if you want to get the perspective of both th this side and that side and um, regrettably I've had my scooter down for a couple of weeks because it, I messed it up and and the parts were not on uh, they're back ordered so it's pretty annoying but all right, let's go a little bit faster real quick. Get under this bridge so we can go ahead and start talking about that. This is 27th Avenue. Right here. You can see the debris that I'm telling you about. have a big boy coming right behind us and there is also a boat in front of us oh yeah 27th Avenue baby Rule of thumb, guys. You're the little guy, get out of the way. So, 27th Avenue. Some of these are shrimp boats, too, or, or, or crab boats. Oh, yeah, we're getting some. Oh, yeah, we're getting some. Oh, yeah, this is the Hollover experience, baby. What? Wait for it. We got a formula. We got some guys, we got some, but it's all right. We're we're on an eight-foot Achilles inflatable. We're good. 
We got multiple chambers in this guy. We're good. Oh yeah, the boiler, baby. We're in the boiler. Uh oh. Now, look at all these houses that are right on the river, right? These houses are extremely expensive because they're on the river. Oh look, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is dangerous. Right now for a soft inflatable bottom. Guys, and regrettably because I'm holding everything, I can't I can't pick up anything and I can't put it in here. So you know I don't like to have anything in debris in the water and, and if you can on your boat, try to always get it out, but regrettably right now I'm not in a position to do anything. Alright, so Here there's a little island where also a lot of people it's a it's a it's a building but a lot of the, the boats come out of this area right here for the charters so don't be surprised if you see the boat that you're gonna charter coming out of this little essentially this is almost like a little island right here this building right off of the Miami River and we got a couple of marinas coming up as well I think we got Merle Stevens coming up we got Hurricane Marina to our left wind is definitely picking up Now, coming up to our left, there's a boat ramp as well where you can launch your boat on the Miami River. So there's two ramps. guys have smashed that like button right about now because I'll tell you not many people are gonna go ahead and have the you know what to, to do this type of stuff but you know if you like amazing stuff follow and subscribe to my channel it's free and uh, I love doing all this incredible stuff for you guys I'm already starting to see the buildings in the backdrop guys all right the, uh, the high rises in the skyline of Miami so wait for it So here, here's where you would also see some boats coming out of. Where I told you where the little island begins, this is where it comes out of. If we would have gone into the left, it would have come out through here. And then I've actually filmed from here, and you guys have seen this backdrop here. Cover. And this is, uh, I believe this is called Curtis Park, where, where the marina is. Now there's also a ramp here as well, on this side of this uh, marina here. I don't know if it's a part of this marina, but there's an empty 
gravel lot coming up to the right. Oh, look at this, more debris. And uh, that is the boat ramp right here. Let me show you guys. See that there? And that's the boat ramp. So you have two, two ramps. Oh wow, look at this. Okay, so this is that, that other ramp that I was telling you about. So I've seen, I've seen, uh, What's this over here? I want to see this. Wow. This is kind of cool, dude. Hold on, guys. We're going to snoop a little because why not, right? This is so cool, dude. Wow, this is so cool. Wow, that is badass. Look at this, guys. Look at this transition, right? From this, right? To this. What a difference, huh? The evolution of technology and man. All right, let's continue. Continue down the river, guys. The Miami River. Now here is where the other ramp is but I guess if you're a part of this marina right here you see this gravel uh, area right here I've seen uh, now it's not the best right but but it, it works you can get your 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 trailer in I've seen a couple of guys struggle in and out of there a little bit you know but who am I to hate, right? I'm on a 10 foot dinghy or an 8 foot dinghy. You know? And they're on a, I don't know, monster of a boat. Bahama Breeze over here. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I would have thought I would have saw more more boat traffic. Like there's a little food boat there. Um, Sun dancer coming through.
All right, so here's the next bridge. And uh, this is the bridge that, uh, what bridge is this right here? Is this 17th Avenue? Uh, we'll find out now. So we're coming up on um, Hurricane Cove Marina. Also very popular marina down here coming up. The Baboon! That's another Miami River towing uh, tug. Oceanica is another um, popular shipyard here in Miami, uh, the Miami River. I gotta, go, I gotta talk to Captain Morgan. See what's going on if they also have this spot over here now. Aren't these tugboats just beautiful, man? Wow. I'll tell you what, man. I'm just so fascinating to see these guys work. Here you got River Cove Marina. And then um, you'll see that... Um, You'll see a lot of cool boats coming in and out of here as well. 545-5001 is the phone number. They have their own lifts, private gate. I'll tell you, there's a, there's a lot of demand for premium boat slips down in South Florida, guys. Somebody had called me and asked me if, if, if Black Point was a uh, available to go ahead and park their boat. I was like, man, there's such a waiting list. You will have to, here's a, here's a wall thing, right? On this little thingy, I can go under this whole thing. I can go under all these boats. Here comes uh, here comes Hurricane Cove, but I want to go ahead and see some of these houses here that are directly on the river without getting too intrusive, right? It just fascinates me that there's so much history here. This is Hurricane Cove right here. 
if you guys ever remember the barnacle blasting video that I did that uh, it's basically a boat that was sitting in the water for years and they cleaned the barnacles from it came out of this marina right here Hurricane Cove Now coming up, we're going to probably start seeing some guys filming for YouTube channels. Um, primarily it'll be Boat Zone, Drone View HD, Boat Snaps. I think those are the three major ones. Now, yours truly is the one who started the river, right? I'm the one who started the the whole filming out of the river and um, it started with me filming the boats and the people coming along the side of the, of the river and uh, then I said how cool would it be if we can get on a tug and we did and just a, a lot has evolved so one of the good things about here um, Hurricane Cove they recently opened up this back area and they got this new crane that allows them to get even bigger it's a big boat lift so if somebody calls me and says hey anybody anywhere I can take you know do something on the river or get something taken care of from the river I'll tell them just bring it to Hurricane Cove and um, They do some really good work there. A guy named Armin and his crew. They do the fantastic. Those are the guys that are doing the gel coat and the painting and repairs when it's. But this this area is new. They have another one here, but this one is recent, so they can get even bigger ships up and out of the water. Here's a local park. So there's a park right here that um, is accessible to anybody in Miami. So if you want to come and visit, maybe just watch some boats pass by. Now if you go on the bbpilot.com website, the bbpilot.com website will let you know what boats, what big boats or cargo boats are, are coming in and out of the Miami River. So if you want to position yourself before they pass through and see them working that'll be cool oh dude is that a rib boat please tell me that's a rib boat no 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 I, I, I was I was it's wishful thinking guys I thought it was a rib boat but it's too big it's too big it's too big let me move a little bit hold on to move before this other guy comes and passes me more condos on the water so close to this area now this has become a very desirable area because it's very close to the downtown Brico area oh my goodness it is a ripple guys wow wow I thought it was a rip boat what is this goodness guys we have seen a rib boat that is not just big it's massive
sometimes when there's boats that are getting pulled by the tugboats, by the big giant ships, sometimes because this is one of the wider areas of the river, they will pull to the side and wait for one, typically the person coming in this way. Wow, my goodness, guys. Look at the size of this. Wait a second, wait, wait. Look at the size of this rip boat, guys. Oh my goodness. What is this? Bro, don't, don't, don't you dare, bro. Don't you dare. Oh my God, look at this. Wow. Say hello to my little friend. Wow. Wow, that was so dope. You guys know I'm a fanatic for rip boats, guys. Wow. All right, so we're, we're here. Wow, look at this. Boy, I'm getting some. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. You know, there's one or two ladies right now. Like, hey, I've, I've been on the bull, bro. Relax. They didn't see me. Just kidding, ladies. I'm not, I'm not but I have to pretend because, you know, I don't want to be canceled. All right, so look at this. Back to stop playing around, Alfred. So this is kind of a place called River Landing, and there's buildings and there's shopping. And uh, believe it or not, if you go to the shopping center where there's a Publix, a TJ Maxx, a Hobby Lobby, a Rob, uh, and you go to the top, it has one of the prettiest views of uh, the skyline of Miami. Um, this has all slowly been evolving. Now on the other side of this is um, the Miami-Dade Courthouse and uh, Miami-Dade Jail um, on the other side of this. Just coming up. You might see it right there, not, not too far from here. Hey, smash a like uh, for uh, the Miami River, man. Talk about an amazing evolution of uh, of the river. It's, it's got so much history. And we're coming across a place that has a lot of history on the river. And it's a place called Merle Stevens. And um, I think they have a lot of history there. And one day I would love to do maybe a video of their boatyard. A uh, smash like for that little 2.5 Mercury four-stroke that has gotten us without any fuel uh, other than the fuel that it has in its own little reservoir. I would say that's pretty gangster. Now I brought this just in case, but it's empty, right? See how it's empty? I brought it there. I got this. I got a little temporary. Um, I got a little temporary anchor. And I got an anchor that they send me that uh, I want to test out too, right? They send it to me. They're like, look, Alfred, no commitments. We know you don't like to do any sponsorship. We get you. But we definitely want you to look at our anchor. So I told them, look, send it to me. And uh, if it's something that'll make my life easier, I will use it. All right, we're getting closer to the end guys the end of the Miami River now it doesn't necessarily mean it's the end of this video I mean this video might continue you might have to see the saga right this is uh, 95 I believe yeah this is 95 
No, is that 95? No. No, that's not 95. Ninety-five is still up ahead. I'm confused. No, so ninety-five is ahead. All right, let's go a little bit further, faster. That is 95. Um, no, actually, that's 874. 836, I'm sorry. 836. This is the 836. Our expressway. That'll lead to 95. Look at this yacht, dude. Wow. So this is going to be, this is being worked on here at um, Merle Stevens. Wow, smash a like for that long video, bro. I hope you guys uh, watch this to its entirety because it gives you uh, an idea of what really is going on at the Miami River, right? It doesn't get more real than this, guys. Look at this metal shark. Dude, metal shark magnet. Wow. Holy smack. Here's Merle Stevens. Look at this Iron Man. Oh my goodness, look at this ribbo, bro. What is this? Wow, dude. All right, girl, guys, uh, Merle Stevens, look at this ribbo. Good Lord, what is this? Wow. All right, so definitely one day guys we got to come over here and uh, talk to the people here at Merle Stevens um, if you guys know anybody oh look we got a, that's a hard bottom inflatable guys see it's an aluminum bottom now that has it's a high field and it has an aluminum bottom this is what we're on right now is completely soft bottom right so I can roll it up and I guess maybe when I'm done with the video I'll, I'll, I'll link the other one and I'll deflate it All right, so now it's where it starts getting pretty. Oh boy, we're getting some, oh no, oh no, oh, oh, deal. We took it, and what? Look at the shrimp, uh, the shrimp, uh, oh no, these are the lobster traps and stuff. Interesting. Guys, there's so many videos that we can do. I don't know, I heard my name. That's me, bro! Hold on, guys. Hold on. for it
What? No, I can't edit, bro. I'm gonna run out of gas before I finish. I wanna do the whole video. Hold on, hold on. You don't wanna be on the video? Huh? What do you guys got going on here? Why don't you send me a message on my Instagram? Send, send, it, send it to me. I want to talk to you. We'll talk. Because right now I don't want to stop filming. No, they're not going to see you. I'm not going to end this video, bro. <laughs> you better hope you didn't come on. <laughs> Hell no. I'll catch you at Blackboard, yeah. <laughs> That's so wild. Yeah, bro. Listen, we've been we've been we've been doing this unedited, guys, um, for a while. So I I want this video to be unedited and real. Hell no. <laughs> and um, it's getting close. It's getting close to the end, guys. And there is uh, the skyline of Miami in the backdrop. Uh, I'll tell you, I have a uh, my hat on. People spot me. It's crazy. Dude. It's honestly crazy. More little apartments right here. Now we're getting close to those areas where I told you you can come on the water and uh, you can go ahead and have a nice meal on the Miami River, either at Casablanca or, or Garcia's. There's a couple other places too, Fisherman's Wharf. Wow, this is new. coming across areas that have been growing immensely from here going towards the actual bay right so this will kind of lead us right out to an area called Bayside if you guys know Miami and if you've been to Bayside well this hell looks terrible I look I look like I just came off a boat right and uh, I'm signing my immigration papers guys but I need to hide from the sun the sun is just destroying me hold on Look how nice these new buildings are. Now, I think the idea was to have a segment of the Miami River all connect so people can go ahead and enjoy the river. And I don't know if they're calling it river walk or what they're calling it, but, but I see a, a black inflatable and it looks like a brig maybe? Is it a brig? Wow, it's amazing how the river has changed from the beginning of the video, huh? Look, look, there's another little inflatable there. Oh no, it's a Zodiac! Look at this Zodiac Pro, bro. Wow, what a beautiful boat. You know, um, the other little thingy that we got from Lauderdale Inflatables is a Zodiac Cadet. Wow, that is so dope. Very nice looking boat. Zodiac Pro, baby. Now, now tell me this isn't uh, some cool type of living, right? 
you're right here you get on your boat and five minutes you're on the water in uh, in the Atlantic Ocean I mean technically they have to idle out of here as well but uh, we're almost out of here guys So we're getting close to uh, another park coming up. Oh, Jose Martí Park. Wow, this wind, is, that, this wind is starting to pick up, guys. Oh, look at this, look at this towboat coming up. Wow, man, this is so cool. Wow. Wow, this is, this is so cool, dude. this wow if this boat can talk what would it say my goodness you see I would love for somebody to give me a a, a, a history a lesson on on this particular towboat Titan, that's what it's called. Wow. See that? And this one over here, this big cargo is the Serenity. How cool is that, dude?
See how cool this is when it's unedited, guys? You guys see the reality of all the moment? The actual water in this area here is so much cleaner. What is this? What is this? Wow. What the is this? They got little golf flags back there, like if there's a little golf area? A putting lawn? Wow. Comment below, guys, if you know what this area is right here. Is this a private house? So this is Norseman uh, Boatyard, right here. So typically what happens, you can pull your boat out of the water, you want to put it on some stands if you can get uh, uh, some workers to work on it, or the people at the boatyard. This is also another park right here in Miami. Right, guys so we're getting close to downtown Miami wait for it my friends I don't know if I should act a fool if I see the cameras just so I can go viral I don't know maybe we'll figure it out maybe we can troll some of these guys I don't know every now and then I like to troll people right Especially in my comment section. Oh my goodness, I love trolling you guys in the comment section. Bro, this is a gym on the river? Vault Fit Gym Club, unlock your potential. Wow. I didn't see that one coming. All right, so when you come to the Miami River and say you wanted to dock and get some dining on the water, it's right here, guys. All right, we got Kiki, we got Casablanca, we got Garcia's. And we have another park coming up as well where a lot of the 
told, uh, I'm sorry, a lot of the charter guys will ask a lot of people from the beach to meet them at this particular park. So don't be surprised if, if you do come get a charter, they ask you to come to the Miami River to this park. They're coming up ahead. the dining now these areas are not too far from Miami Beach not too far from Miami um, downtown area so if you wanted to have some water dining you can right this is it this is the Kiki Now this is open day and night as well, so there's also dancing and uh, that goes on here and there's obviously special events. Now you can come in your boat and dock it here. Have a nice lunch or brunch or dinner, depending on what time you come. But I think the easiest way is just to grab your Uber and come here, right? Alright, so this is uh, Casablanca. These guys just came in from fishing. They're gonna get a nice meal. We got somebody from Casablanca. Now, do you see why I like rib boats, guys? Like, technically, if I wanted to, I could just tie up here. I can have a nice little uh, lunch. That's Casablanca's for you. Really, really fre fresh fish. They have their own fish um, market too. And right here in the little corner is Garcia's, okay? They have a smaller dock, but they also have very good food. Here's that park that I was telling you where the charters will tell you to come. that other park now like I said this is normally an area people will ask you to get picked up on and um, see if I have a name for it No, I'll try to put it maybe on the comments below, guys. You guys ever wonder where Tobo US in uh, Miami comes out of? These are um, the big boys. Boat US in the house. Now you guys know 
Captain Lance from Black Point. Um, and if you guys don't watch a chip show, which is a series I do at a boat ramp, which is really, really funny and entertaining. So. You see how the people are over there? I do have a kill cord on, guys. That will that will turn off the boat should I fall into the water, right? We got some more uh, tugboats here on the river. Now it looks like we got a yacht here waiting on the bridge to open up. And now we're getting on here to 95. Captain Bo. I know the sound of the engine might be a little irritating, guys. But there is no perfect boat and there is no perfect engine. They all have something that another one has better. All right, so here's some of the uh, fishing traps here for the Kiki. Wow, this is the first boat that we see actually coming in. Uh oh, we're gonna get some wake, baby. We go through a head on. Hall over inlet. Oh no. Oh, boom, now, boom. Guys, I'm ready, guys. I'm ready for haul over on this uh, soft inflatable bottom. I'm ready, guys. You let me know and we'll do this. Definitely notice a, a pickup in the current. Probably has something to do with this uh, yacht at idle. Okay, so this ferry is one of the ferries that'll take you to Miami Beach Marina. Uh, I don't know if they're they're launching out of here, but that would be interesting to know if it's there. And we did a video of uh, the water taxi from Bayside to Miami Beach Marina. All right, now we got the wharf coming up. check out the wharf. The wharf is an area where you can go and have a nice lunch or dinner. It's very nice at night as well when you see the boats crossing and cruising with their night lights on and the really nice yachts. It's really close to 95 so this is 95 coming up here guys. The other one that uh, I said was 95 was actually 836. This is the 95. Here's this guy waiting on this drawbridge to open up. Look, they got a little different booth. They got taco booth, they got a burger booth. Uh, the wharf right here on uh, the Miami River, right off of 95, so. 
Not far from 95 at all, guys. Very close to the downtown area as well, so. All right, so this is Jose Marti Park. When we started filming out of here on the Miami River, we started filming here. And then we got thrown out. They said, get off my lawn! And I was like, yo, stop! It's not your lawn, I pay taxes too. Get off my lawn! And then the homeless guy next to me said, don't worry about it, bro, they don't do nothing. Ah, just kidding, just kidding! Wait for it. What we need is a boat ramp right here, bro. That's that's what we need right here. Just, just make a boat ramp right here. We'll do a chit show with the, the skyline of Miami. Come on, guys. Make it happen. Alright, so I think we got American Social coming up and then we have the Brickle area. Brickle is basically the financial district here in downtown. Very uh, modern, new, a lot of young professionals. So right here on the other side of 95 would be the most desirable area, right? So when the tugboat guys, they're pulling those ships and maneuvering them. I don't know if it's Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan, I think, doesn't like 95. And uh, Captain Greg, I think 17th Avenue. So they all, they all just like their own little segment of the river more than, than others. But look how tight it is, guys. This is not, <laughs> this is not, this is, it's scary. Alright, so, on the river, uh, on the tugboat video that we did, this is kind of like a cool area to see at night, because all the lights are real open, and, and they're, they're lit up, and, and that night we had, um, we had rain and we had lightning, so, should be cool. Look, we got another boat coming in. star over here passing through all right so uh, let's see how we do this guys let's see how we do this all right so at this point from this bridge forward you will start seeing youtubers position themselves to film the boats are coming on so I gotta make sure that my ass crack is not showing because I will be on YouTube 100% look at the Montanero well maybe maybe I should maybe I should maybe I should troll them with my ass crack I think we should right I didn't I don't have to shave guys I'm good I'm sorry too TMI too much information I don't have to shave it guys I don't know, sorry. All right, so this is um, Miami. Um, this is one, I think this is one of the main buildings in the city of Miami. Wait for it. Oh, we ran out of gas. Oh no. Oh no, we ran out of gas. I'm just kidding, my friends. We got a Mercury on here. Uh-oh. And what do we got behind us? Stalking. Stalker. All 
All right, this is the sec uh, Second Avenue Bridge. I hope Alex and his team is there from Boat Zone. Now I've come over here as well and I've filmed from here. You go down these stairs and got a nice little coverage and you see all the debauchery that happens on the Miami River, which can be very intense by the way. Here's another place, Jimbo, Jimbo Shrimp. You guys remember Jimbo from uh, Virginia Key? I wonder if that has anything to do with him, right? It is during the week, so it might be a little slow for these guys to film today. Uh-oh, we're getting the boiler. The boiler. But this is already kind of... Yeah, we might not see them filming today. But we are, we are close to the end. Here's the American Social, right here. So now here you have, oh my God, we did actually run out of gas. Oh shit. Oh my God. Guys, I have a problem. Yo, I'm sorry. I have to put this camera down. But I got paddles, baby. I got paddles and I gotta get, I gotta get out the center here. There's a, there's a yacht coming. You gotta go. Bro, this was not in the equation. So we're in Brickle, guys. We're just on the other side of the river. But thankfully, thankfully, where we broke down is right in there. So. And there's a gas station over here. Wow. What a show, bro. Thank goodness that it's not too far. All right. Wow. The gas here is super expensive, too. I mean, I need like a gallon, so. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. Guys. What a scene guy. What a scene guy. <laughs> Alright. Nothing to see here. Alright. My pants are falling dude. Why? Why are my pants falling? I gotta start eating more. <sighs> see the other side? No. Now I have to do an obligatory sit down at American Social. I was like, yeah, a buddy of mine is gonna pick me up. You know? All right. Wow. What a scene, guy. I took my stuff though. Yeah, I wasn't gonna risk it. All right, guys. Wow. Okay, classic. Wow, 49. Nah, hell no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay broken down, bro. Booyaka, baby! Wow. Guys, whenever you go to battle, make sure you have a plan B. And um, you know that, that saying that uh, I want to give a big shout out to uh, American Social. Um, I was able to get off here and uh, quickly walk to the close uh, gas station. But you know how Reagan said one time, trust but verify? So look, one thing is I was told, hey, listen, um, don't worry about it, man. That thing's going to run all day. And, um, and it has. It's, it's ran a long time. But it, it wasn't what I 
was expecting, right? So that's why I, I still, you know that trust but verify quote? I trusted and then I verified and I came with an empty jug, walked over there and got to the gas station. So we can finish this video, baby. Now, a couple things I am noticing. I think I didn't inflate these tubes enough. But now, now that um, I'm getting back into the sun, they should swell up a little bit more. Um, wow. It's never a dull moment over here in the life of uh, Alfred Montaner. Wait for it. Do you guys want to get uh, towed in by the Adita? What do you guys think? Alright, so we're about to get into some really nice areas and, and here's where it's going to start getting interesting, guys. I'm going to end the video here. Where's the flag? No! Oh my god, if I end the video here, you guys will punch me in the face too. They'll think, Psh! Nah, nah, I'm not going to do that to you. I'll wait for it to get better. Ha! Alright, guys. Hey. Wow. Um, I do have enough to get back to where I came from. Or where I started this video. I actually started this video at the boat ramp. Um, then you guys saw it. Let's go, baby. Mercury. Well, now you know in real time how long you can go. Um, it was filled to the top, guys. So I guess look at the, uh, the hour meter and uh, and see how long you can go on, on idle. Because basically, we've been on idle the whole time. All right, so behind me, all this is brickle. Um, all this area is brickle. Let me turn the camera around, hold on. This is all the brickle area, right? So, primarily, very close. This way would be downtown, what we would consider downtown. And on the other side of this bridge is what we would consider brickle very high-end shopping like I said a lot of young professionals that can't live in Brickell which is here they'll go across the river and they live on the river so it's very close very similar but you see this is also there's there's places here that people Airbnb and all right guys so we we're almost at the end I promise you we would make it damn I, I literally was going to get an Uber. I didn't realize how close the gas station was. I know there was a gas station close, <clears throat> but I didn't know how close. So, well, let's just say that Mr. Montaner is, is uh, breathing a sigh of relief with an occasional cough. That flu got me recently, guys, and it got me good. It got me, the flu got me harder than the Rona. And the Rona got me pretty hard, too. Come on, baby. Who's going to be filming over here? Who's filming? All right. Remember that I told you guys about the ferry that goes from downtown Miami. Listen up, guys. Listen up. Damn. Don't be throwing your Gatorade bottles, bro. Remember what I told you guys? This is another place. I forgot what this place is called. It's also outdoor dining. Very nice as well. Um... The Poseidon comes out of here, out of the, what is this one called? Um, uh, it's an, uh, um, not an auditorium, it's, uh, hold on. All right, well, this ferry from Brickell, so if you come to Brickell, right, you can cross the bridge either here or the bridge coming up walk to the ferry oh look there's somebody competing with me with another soft inflatable let's see if they want to ride they want to ride uh, let's see if they want to race hold on guys. hold on nobody's gonna size us up claim yourself fool i'm just joking guys i'm, I'm 
not gonna stab him. His his inflatable. I'm gonna stab that inflatable. All right, so it's a little Avon with a little Tahatsu. Two older gentlemen on there, and then it, uh, there you go. It's uh, it's also a soft inflatable bottom, guys. All right, back to the Poseidon. So the Poseidon will go from here. It's basically a ferry that'll take you from Brickell. So keep this in mind. You can go from here to the Miami Beach Marina on this. Look, they got they got a bar in there, bro. Oh, we gotta do a, we gotta do a video inside there, bro. We gotta do a video on, on the Poseidon. So from here, what is this? Is this the Civic Center? What is it? What, what, is, what do they call this one? Oh my goodness, I forgot the name of it. I remember I used to know. I, I went here one time to see WWF happen here. Look at this small little event space and I saw the Ultimate Warrior, Bam Bam Bigelow. I, I'll never forget that day. I found 120 bucks on the floor. My oldest brother said, what are you doing with that money? That's not yours. Are you, what do you mean? I just found it. He goes, yeah, but I'm the one who bought your ticket. And I said, well, what happens if I wouldn't have found it? He goes, it doesn't matter. Why are you asking so many questions? Do you want to go or not? So I kept 20 bucks and I gave my brother 100 bucks. And uh, I guess he said, wait for it, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got murder hornets. Oh man, it's getting tight guys, it's getting tight over here. Wait for it. Oh boy, we're getting some wake. Oh man, oh yeah, we're getting some wake over here. A statement in the house. And we're here. This is where all the filming happens guys. The all oh, the point. This is it, this is where all the filming happens. When you see Boat Zone filming, when I've filmed, this is where you guys have seen it from. All right, so now you know. That is the epic, I'm sorry, this is the epic, which is also a hotel. Look at the size of this Reva, my goodness. So, wow, this thing is beautiful. So a lot of people will load up here at this hotel. Oh, I just got windy real bad, guys. All right. Um, that's it, guys. That is the Miami River. But um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go a little further, only because I know you guys like amazingness. Hey, remember how I tell you guys when we're filming the Chicho, whatever it takes? Bro, whatever it takes, all right? As long as you're out on the water and you're safe about it. All right, so now this is the Bay Area. Damn it. I'm gonna break into the waves because I don't wanna get wet or get that little side situation all right let me show you guys an area that we've yet to explore and hopefully I can get shielded by the wind from these buildings all right so when we did the video of the tugboat the tugboats turn in that basin over there the big cargo ships and then they go down the port of Miami, cross the government cut, and uh, from there, they, um, they're they on their own way to wherever they're gonna go. Now, <coughs> smash a like for that cough for Alfred Montaner taking you guys all around Miami. But it's gonna get better, guys. You guys want to see one of the nicest hotels in all of Miami? Oh boy. 
boy, it's getting a little wild over here. Now, Bayside will be kind of like over here on that side, a little bit that way. And then South Beach is around back here, you know, going a little bit further that way. But here we have, recently when we did the video with Fishman Joe, we were right there. We were right in this, in this area crossing to Key Biscayne Bridge. Now, <clears throat> this is a, a bridge only for this little key here. I forgot what this key is called, bro. It's where the Mandarin Oriental is, but it's a, it's a private, private residential place over here in Miami, just off of Brickle. Thank goodness that I had this little gas uh, Didn't I tell you whatever it takes guys Wait for it my friends All right um, Let's go pass through the Williams Island real quick and Call it off all right we're gonna try to get to the mandarin i want you guys to see the mandarin because that's another place that if you don't want to stay in south beach in the lows that I always recommend the Mandarin is a really cool place to stay it's up there in price guys but you know you know that saying location 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 look at this view bro With this two horsepower, I think for this particular dinghy, a four would be a four would be ideal. I don't I haven't really put any weight up front, but I think a four would be ideal for this particular dinghy, guys. Because I'd be able to plane out. For sure, the six planes out. Look, but right now I'm cavitating a little bit. You see that? Because of the waves. I'm pushing this thing to its limits, bro. Can you imagine when I take this thing out of haul over? Come on, Mandarin, get closer. That's the Key Biscayne Bridge over there in the backdrop. This is the Mandarin Oriental. And uh, this is basically Brickle.
Now I can say that I'm extremely blessed to live in Miami because it's such an amazing city. And I would encourage you guys, if you're in the market to come to Miami, definitely come enjoy Miami and enjoy the city. As far as for now, Alfred Montaner. Hey, bro, if that wasn't amazing, I don't know what was. Um, I hope you guys smash that like button. Alfred Montaner making a scene as always. You know I'm always making a scene. Check out the chip show. Check out the tugboat uh, videos that I've done on the river. And uh, guys, this is the only begin. This is only the beginning of the dinghy series. So stay tuned. We're gonna do a lot more of it. Wow, bro! Look at this guy. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's get, let's get out of here. Look at that. Bro. Hey, you know I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. Ready, ready. Yeah!